So as I'm walking up the hill from Kinglock Leven, I'm going to think of some top tips for fighting off the midges. One, don't punch yourself in the face when you're trying to waft them away. Um, two, wear smidge. It really works. Uh, Avon three, Avon skin so soft. That seems to work as well. It's nice when you've had a, a wash. Uh, what are we on four? Um, have a safe place to go to. Get your tent pitched up early. Make sure it's midge free. So as if it gets unbearable, you can get in there. What's that for? Five. Have a head net. But when putting on the head net, don't let the midges get inside the head net. That's going to defeat the purpose. So what worked for me was shaking the head net frantically while running from one area of the campsite to another and then just chucking it on your head while you're moving because the midges aren't a problem when, you, when you're moving so badly. What was that? Five or well, six. Right, so I've been eating Marmite for a couple of months before um, coming up here. I eat Marmite anyway, but the vitamin B11, is it? B12. B12. Mm. So you could either take those tablets um, a couple of months before you come or eat loads of Marmite every day. Seven is we sprayed our clothes and tent with something. Can you remember what it's called? Trek something. Well, we got it from Go Outdoors, I think. And it's a spray that uh, wards off. You put it on your clothes, let it dry for two hours. And I will put a picture of it up now. So I think that's seven rules for fighting off the midges. And we are just walking into Fort William. And so far there has been midges swarming around us, but we haven't been bitten that much. You have to say, we haven't been bitten that much. Maybe I've been bitten twice. Oh, I thought of another good one. Uh, incense sticks, they work. They've worked really well for us. Cit Citronella incense sticks. That's rule number eight, or idea number eight. And we've um, put them around the tent every time we've um, been getting in and out of it. Areas where we've been eating. And I think for the final one, nine. Imagine this is an incense stick in front of my mouth. If I'm talking to you with an incense stick in front of my mouth, it kind of stops them smelling your breath. And I believe it's the breath, the breath that attracts them from over 400 meters. So that confuses them. So there you go, I got to nine. Confuses the midges. Apparently. They can't smell my breath. Ten. So what's the tenth one? The light in the tent. Ah, excellent news. Right. When you get in your tent and it's dark, put a bright white light on. If there are any midges in your tent, they will be attracted to that big white light and then you can clap your hands on them and kill them. You really do not want to go to sleep with midges in your tent. Oh, we've seen it. We've seen what happened yeah. the next day to that yeah. poor lad. It was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. His face was covered with it. He's riddled with them. So, right now, I'm feeling pretty smug. Because all the things we've done seem to have worked. But we've got the Great Glen way to go. We're running low on smidge. We're running low on mm -hmm. <laughs> citronella just sticks. Mm -hmm. We're running low on um, skin so soft, Dave on skin mm -hmm. so soft. And Marmite. And we've got no Marmite there. <laughs> so we need to buy some Marmite as a matter of urgency mm -hmm. and start drinking it <laughs> by the bucket full. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, that's ten. Yeah. Ten ways to beat the midges. <laughs> so far, so good. But do you know what? Having said that, I think we've been lucky as well. I have to say that. I think we've been lucky. I don't think there's been too many midges around this, this year for some reason. Glencoe, we didn't see any clouds. So although I'm feeling a bit smug, I do also appreciate that we have had it very, very easy.